everyone, Jenna here with Queen of Diamonds. Thank you for joining me today. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I hope you will consider subscribing and sticking around. And if you're returning, as always, welcome back. Today I'm here with an unboxing from Diamond Art Club. So let's just get right into it. This is Rainy Day Mermaid. Isn't she pretty? I have wanted this diamond painting for so long. I saw it on Diamonds and Washi's year in review for 2023. That was the first time I had ever seen it and I just loved it. So I was really excited when Diamond Art Club restocked it and I was pleasantly surprised to see that it came in the new box. So that's cool. All right, on the box, we've got the title of the diamond painting, Rainy Day Mermaid, and the artist is Erica the Goober. It is a 50.7 centimeter by 63.9 centimeter. And so that in inches is 20 by 25. So here we've got that it is a round diamond painting. That means that the diamonds we'll be using are round versus square. That shows a round diamond right there too. So let's take a look at the box and then we'll get into it and look at the canvas. So on the side of the box, we've got this here that says unleash your inner artist. I think it's really pretty how they've made this box kind of um, iridescent, it kind of has like an iridescent look to it. And then up here, we've got how it works and kit contents. And then on this side, we've got that it's full diamond coverage and it has 53 colors, including three ABs. So Aurora Borealis is the ABs. Those are specialty drills and I'll show you those when we get into the drills. And one iridescent diamond. That is a crystal. Another specialty drill. I'm really excited about that. They also have the total amount of diamonds that you'll be placing on this diamond painting. So let's get into this. Very excited to take a look at this. I love this new packaging. I know they're going to be changing it again, but I really love how they did this. All right. So inside the box we've got this inner sleeve that you can pull out and it has this compartment here that keeps the toolkit away from the canvas so that the canvas is not getting squished or damaged in any way so let's take a look at the toolkit first so we're going to bring this out and i love how that lifts out and a lot of people have been using these for some of their diamond painting tools by their uh, canvas i think that's really brilliant and I don't know if that's going to be sticking around. I know that they got some complaints about the size of the box being larger than the old boxes. And I can see, I can understand that. I love these new boxes. I, I don't know what they'll do to change those, but I don't know if they'll be keeping this idea. I really love that. Let's take a look at the toolkit first, and then we'll get into the rest of it. All right, so toolkits have changed quite a bit since the new packaging. I'll show you the new toolkits. Yeah, I was really surprised that this came with the new stuff since it was a restock. So the old toolkit package was kind of a paper yellow. So this is more of a plastic. And inside the toolkit, this is a little bit different than the last toolkit I opened. Inside the toolkit, we've got the Ziploc bags. We've got an extra cube of putty here because this pen is now refillable. Isn't this a cool new updated pen or upgraded, I should say? I love it. I have not tried these yet, so I can't speak to it as how they work, but it's very cool. I like that it's a little chunkier than the old pens. So this is refillable. I have no idea how you refill it. Like I said, I've never even used one of these. So they used to, in the kits that I've opened in the past that have the new packaging, they had the little hearts of wax and I don't have one in here. So I'm not sure what happened there, but these are the new trays. They're very nice. They have a sliding lid, very cool. And it's a little bit heavier than the old trays. And then they've got a stopper that you can lift out. Very nice. And we also have multi-placers. I forgot to show, point that out. These are a seven and a four if you'd like to try placing more than one diamond at a time. Okay, let me put these items back in this toolkit and we'll take a look at this diamond painting. I'm very excited to see this. It looks bigger than I expected it to be, but that happens to me frequently. Like I'll look at the size and I'll have an idea of how big it's gonna be. Then it gets here and I think, did I really um, realize the size of this? So it's a little bit bigger than I expected, but it'll be beautiful. Okay, 
put that off to the side and here we've got our little sleeve i was going to say folder but it's more of like a sleeve so this replaces the old sticker sheet that we used to get with the pre-cut stickers however it does have pre-cut stickers inside it we'll take a look at those right here we've got diamond art club do what makes you sparkle we've got a qr code to join the facebook group that is a very helpful group i love being a part of that then we've got some of their social information right there inside this sleeve we have our kit contents step-by-step -step instructions and i love how that diamond is shimmery and then tips and tricks on that side we also have two qr codes here one for an iphone one for an android that you can use to get 20 percent off the app off the off of your purchase when you use the app it's getting late and my tongue is not wanting to pronounce words all right here we have the original artwork isn't that pretty i love it i just love this diamond painting i did a mermaid's bath from Jada Gem Shop, and it was the same type of thing, a mermaid in a bath reading a book. I love it. This one's just different because it's got a bigger window and the color scheme is different. Okay, let's open this up. Here we've got the title and the artist. Inside, we've got our pre-cut stickers. So these you can use to label your containers or Ziploc bags, whatever you prefer to use when you're kitting up. And it also shows that we have 53 colors. So here it shows the three ABs <clears throat> and here it shows the iridescent. So anything with Diamond Art Club with a DMC number under 150 is gonna be an AB, Aurora Borealis Diamond. And like I said, that is a specialty drill. And over on this side, anything with an L or a, um, what are the other ones? I can't think of them now, but anything with a letter in front of it is gonna be another specialty drill. So this one is L422, which is a crystal. It's gonna be really pretty. Okay, let's get into the canvas. Super curious to take a look at this. Let me put this little folder away. I apologize if you hear fireworks going off. It is a big day here in Utah. It's the 24th. July 24th is our kind of Independence Day for our state. So people are letting off fireworks. All right. All of the Diamond Art Club canvases come in a plastic sleeve like this to keep your canvas clean and neat. And here's our canvas. And I'm going to bring you up because I want to be able to get this all in frame. I'm just rearranging things really quick, you guys. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is so gorgeous. It's just a very classy diamond painting. I love it. All right, I'm gonna put our drills off to the side. We'll get into those in just a moment. She is so pretty. Let me, hmm, let me raise you up a little bit. I'm gonna change the, there we go. All right, still not all in frame, but I'm going to flip it backwards. And I'm going to roll it up the opposite direction. Because these are poured glue, you can roll them backwards to get them to flatten out a little bit. However, you can just leave them flat for just, I don't know, even like 10 or 15 minutes and they flatten out real quick. It's just a very high quality canvas. All right. This is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, this was so worth waiting for. Beautiful. When I saw that this was restocked, I was so surprised. I didn't think I would ever get my hands on this diamond painting. So I was so excited. All right, up here, we've got the branding in the middle that says Diamond Art Club, do what makes you sparkle. Before we go any further, I wanna point out that Diamond Art Club's canvases are always very soft. The sides are scalloped and poked, so you shouldn't have any problems with fraying. We also have the perforated cover on this, you guys. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get you to see that, but you can kind of see the perforations there. That line is a perforation so that you can just peel back your plastic as you go. I still like to use washi tape because it is very hard to see where the perforated lines are on the canvas because the plastic is shiny and the canvas itself is very shiny. So it's hard to see the sections, but I use washi tape still to um, kind of help section off the canvas. I still use the perforated areas, but I just put washi tape on them. 
All right, we've got legends on both sides here and here, which show what colors go with what symbols, and they also have the DMC numbers. And then down here in the bottom, we have an original thumbnail, or a uh, thumbnail of the original artwork, sorry guys. And right here, Rainy Day Mermaid, the size and the artist that shows that it is legally licensed. So Erica the Goober is getting properly compensated for Diamond Art Club's use of her artwork. Over here, we've got a code to take 10% off your next order and their social information there. Over here, we have the lifetime warranty. Okay. Oh, this is so pretty. I'm super excited. Now look at the symbols with Diamond Art Club. Aren't they clear? It's so nice to work on Diamond Art Club canvases, whether I'm doing a square or a round. The symbols are always very nice and clear, and it's just so easy to diamond paint. There's a lot of confetti and color blocking in this canvas. So color blocking is where you have large portions of the same color and you can just use a multi-placer and just zoom right through it. Theoretically, it takes me a little longer, but that's okay. Uh, there is a lot of confetti also, and confetti is the exact opposite of color blocking. Confetti is where you have a lot of colors in one place. Like for example, this has quite a bit of color blocking actually, but here's a good example of some confetti. So here we've got the symbols changing frequently, so our colors are not going to stay in our tray as long as they would in the color blocking areas. I like diamond paintings that have a good combination of both, and this seems to have both of them. Oh, you guys, this is so pretty. I'm really dying to kit this up, but I think I want to wait until fall because I kind of get fall vibes from this. And I'm definitely a seasoned diamond painter, but sometimes it just depends on my mood. So <laughs> I don't know if I can wait, but I'm going to try. All right, let's take a look at our drills. I love how Diamond Art Club packages their drills so nice and it's such a nice presentation of their drills. Now this is a round kit, so the diamonds are going to be round versus square. I'm not going to go through all of the colors with you, but I do want to point out the AB drills and we'll find where they're gonna go on this canvas. So I'm just going to browse through these colors really quick and look for any of the ABs. 127 is an AB. if there are any more in this strand. 125 is an AB. There's a lot of that one. So I'm going to try to keep those two together. Okay. One oh three is another AB. And we just have the three of them. And then we need the iridescent. So the iridescent is going to be a crystal and right here look at that crystal all right so let me show you how the ab's are different than the normal drills we'll just take a look at this one since it's got some drills around it that are just easy for me to look at right here you can see that that ab kind of has a iridescent coating on those drills that makes them sparkle a little more than the other ones and if you see a color shift, you can kind of see blues and yellows and pinks in there. These other ones are sparkly, but they don't have the same color shift that the ABs have. So the reason they are called ABs is for the Aurora Borealis effect that they have. It's very pretty. These other drills, with Diamond Art Club's drills are super sparkly, but these are just a little more sparkly. And they kind of make the diamonds around them sparkle a little more too, so I love that. All right, let's take a look at where these are going to go on the diamond painting. The first AB that we're gonna be looking for is number one, 103. My apologies, I had a child come in. Okay, so the first color we're gonna be looking for is the 103, which is this one that I was just showing you. And that will go anywhere that we see the symbol one. Right there. So the symbol one is going to be in her tail. I see it a lot there. Very pretty. Love that it's in her tail. And I don't think I see the number one anywhere else. I'm just looking for that color because it would stand out a little bit. And I don't see one anywhere else. Yeah. Okay, so in her tail, very pretty. 
All right, the next AB we'll be looking for is 125, and that is the number two. That's the big pack of drills. This one right here that's like a really light blue, very light blue. And that's gonna go anywhere we have the symbol two. So, Oh, it's up here in the window, of course. Look how beautiful that will be. So we've got those blue ABs right here in the window for the rain, and they kind of come down a little bit. I love that. Very pretty, okay. And I don't see twos anywhere else, but I do see three. So our next AB is 127, and that is the symbol three. And that is the, where did it go? These fireworks are so loud. 127 right here. It's this kind of apricot color. And that is gonna go anywhere we have the number three. And I see those here in her fin. A lot of threes here, very pretty. And in the book, there are some threes. And I don't see them anywhere else. Okay, very nice. Oh, in the floor right here, we've got some of the, num some of the symbol three. Cool, okay. And then we've got that crystal. So anywhere we see the dot right there is gonna be that gold crystal. And it's right here. And I think I know where that's gonna go. That is gonna go right here. Yes, in the flames of the candles. Very nice, it's gonna give kind of a very, um, what does this remind me of? Like a very chill, kind of cozy vibe with the candles. I love that. All right, and we've got that here and over here. I love that there are gold crystals there. That is beautiful. And then let's see, that might be it for the gold crystals. Yeah, and I don't see them anywhere else. So they're just gonna be in the flames and I don't have a lot of those in that pack anyway, so. All right, isn't she gorgeous? So there you have it. There is Rainy Day Mermaid, again, by Erica the Goober, and this is from Diamond Art Club. Thank you so much for joining me. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.